All right, today we're going to talk about the need for speed again. Google's making it even easier to create pages that are faster and faster. Go find P page speed at Google. Let's just go see how fast the site is that we've got. I'm going to optimize one using Google's page speed. Booby So what they'll do is evaluate how fast your site is, and then if you were to optimize it, how much faster it would be. Google's in love with fast websites, and they're willing to help you out. So it's giving me a score of 57 out of 100. Obviously, that's not great. Um, and then they give you some suggestions down here at the bottom. So let's actually measure and see what the website would be if we optimized it. Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of other people. So this will come back. Right, Google's reporting back that it could improve the load time by about 18%. I've run this report before and it varies. The last time it said it could improve it by 54%. Let's just see what would happen. <laughs> there we go. So, let's take advantage of this and sign up. So, let's start by getting signed up. You want to provide your Google email and the URL that you want to work on. In interestingly enough, once you're approved, you can then add whatever domains you want. So go ahead and fill this out, click on submit. Okay, once you've been approved, you should see an email that looks like this. Usually it happens pretty quick. You can add up to <clears throat> 50 domains. Click on get started. Now I'm going to click on page service. I've already got one site added. I'm going to go ahead and add another domain. And just go simply with the regular setup, not using SSL. So I'll have to claim ownership. It basically means I need to put a certain file on my web server. Okay, so I've uploaded that file. Click on Verify. So I'm going to click back on Add. So I'm doing a 301 redirect. Let's see what that does. So I'm going to need to go edit the HTT access file or go into WordPress and change that. Okay, so I fixed this. Let me just try this again. Click on Add. Okay, the next thing to do is set up serving domain. What exactly is that? So I need to go into my uh, server and change the C name. Now I've got my own dedicated server. So I'll go show you how I do that, but there are instructions on how to do stuff if you're hosted at different sites. For instance, one on one, Bluehost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, etc. So I'm going to go do this inside mine and change the C name for this site. So Web Host Manager, Edit DNS Settings. Down here where it says www.c name. It's got mobilovesme.com dot. So, let's see. I'm going to change it to that. And I'm going to leave that dot at the end. And I am going to save. So that should be ready to go. I'm going to refresh this page. Okay. So there, it's enabled. 
Okay, here's the results. It looks like there's a significant <clears throat> change in the page load time from the original to the optimized. A um, couple things I'll point out. If for some reason you think something is broken with this, you can disable this uh, without having to go into your DNS settings again by simply clicking on configure rewriters and disable all rewriters. If there are certain parts of your website that you do not want to be impacted by this, you can blacklist it down here. And this would be the format of the domain, followed by a subdirectory, followed by a slash, and then the little star, the thing above the number eight. That will block uh, <clears throat> Google's page speed from accessing that in case there's any issues. So that's how you get set up with Google's page speed.